This is Councilman Charles Barron. And Inez Barron. And on behalf of the Operation Power Movement, we are making this recording in solidarity with the Uhuru Movement and the African People's Socialist Party and its leadership. We say to the FBI, your hands is dripping with too much blood for you to be accusing the Uhuru Movement of being puppets of the Russian government. That is absurd. That is something that we denounce. We demand you to back off, stop the harassment. How dare you, the United States? How dare you even fix your face, as we say in the neighborhood, to say that we don't have enough intelligence and history to organize around reparations and colonial capitalism, to organize around genocide. We need Russia to come in and do that for us. The African People's Socialist Party have been around for over 50 years. They have a history in our movement of organizing around every major issue you can think of. As a matter of fact, in my beloved Brooklyn, they came in 1982 and organized an international reparations forum. They need Russia for this. And how dare you mess with our sister who ran a credible city council race. So this whole investigation, 20, 30 FBI agents, an armored car, a drone, taking our leaders out and telling them to put their hands up in handcuffs because you think Russia meddled in the internal affairs of a city council race in St. Petersburg, Florida? If anyone believes that I live in Brooklyn, I have a bridge I want to sell you. The bottom line is that the United States have a history of coup d'etats intervening in other countries. FBI, CIA, American government, you murdered Patrice Lumumba. 33 of my comrades, the Black Panther Party, killed by the American government. And as we explore history, it is this American government that supported some of the most brutal dictators that they put in office, that they did put in power through coup d'etats that the world has ever known. This American government supported Jean-Claude Duvalier, Papa Doc and Baby Doc in Haiti. This American government supported Batista in Cuba. This American government supported Samosa in Nicaragua and Pinochet in Chile, uh, Marcos in the Philippines, and in South Vietnam, a uh, murderer, and in Iran, the Shah of Iran, a murderer. You destabilized governments all over the world. You caused the downfall of many African liberation movements, including Kwame Nkrumah. You, America, you have a lot of nerve. You tried to take Hugo Chavez out of office in Venezuela, the people had to rise up. So we say all of us who are fighting against colonial capitalism, do not be afraid by this attack on the Uhuru movement and its leader, Amali Yeshitela, and all of the members and owner of Yeshitela. Do not be afraid of this. We have to rise up now like never before and say that we will stand by our brothers and sisters in this movement. And remember, we must do this because if they came for Uhuru in the morning, they're gonna come for you in the afternoon and they're gonna come for me at night. So we have to stand together. This is a sign that colonial capitalism, global capitalism and imperialism is fatally flawed. They're dying all over the world. And so this is a desperate attempt to get those of us here in America that are fighting against this colonial capitalist system to be fearful that we might be raided as well. Well, we're not afraid. We say, keep your bloody hands off of the Uhuru movement. Keep your bloody hands off of the African People's Socialist Party. We are winning and we will win. And the Bible says, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We will win. We will win. And we're sending this statement of solidarity to the leadership, to the membership, and to all of those who are fighting on behalf of our people. We know that this is a tactic of the FBI and this government to try to create division, try to give out disinformation, try to create fear, 
and to smear and belittle the work that we are doing. But we're saying that we understand these kinds of tactics and we will not succumb to them. We know that whenever there is a bold leadership and a movement to confront those systems of injustice and those systems of capitalism, this government engages in those kinds of tactics such as they did raiding our brothers and sisters and creating this document with all kinds of clouded accusations. We're not gonna be intimidated. We're not going to fall for those kinds of, of media attacks on our people. We know the work that the Uhuru Movement has done, the African People's, African People's Socialist Organization has done. We know the economic development. We've seen it both in person and in video, the work that they have done, the housing they have developed, and they have created awareness and an awakening of our people. So we stand in solidarity. We say we're going to continue. We say Uhuru, we say we're gonna to continue to fight for our freedom and not be intimidated by these moves that are set to tear us down. So in the name of Tupac Shakur, Uhuru Movement, keep your head up. And as D12 would say, straight ahead. Thank you. <laughs>